Hello there and welcome back to the channel. So here with another South Park Fun Destroyer video. On today's video guys, I wanted to share with you a deck that I created uh, late last night, early this morning. Because um, I was a little bit bored, so I wanted to spice things up. This is my sci-fi adventure deck. As you know, I have a bunch of level 5 epics. Um, but the ones that I'm using right now is Pocahontas Randy. Tally and who can Clyde. I also have a program stand, but I decided to take him out, bench him out for a little bit just to spice up my deck. And you'll notice I have an empty spot here, and that empty spot is for the card that I think made my deck that much better and actually that much more fun to use. That card, believe it or not, is going to be Swashbuckler Red. Um, I haven't seen a lot of her. On, on PvP, especially on the Legendary Arena, especially on the upper 7,400, 7,600 range where I am currently sitting. Um, she is a pretty damn good card if you use her at the appropriate time. Now, Pocahontas Randy is an awesome card too. He's a very good slapper. He will do 200 damage and he will put down almost every card in very little time. Now, he can get targeted really easily. His, um, his charge ability takes long. So uh, you have to know when to use it. Now, if you, when using combination with Swashbuckler Red, what happens is Swashbuckler Red will pull the units away so that they don't attack Randy and then Randy can go to town slapping people. Now her ability lasts for a whole 10 seconds and believe it, 10 seconds is more than enough for Randy to do any amount of damage. You can also use it to pull defending units out of the new kit so that then you can engage with your own units. So I'm going to do a couple of highlights here. Um, I'm thinking somewhere between three and five matches. I don't know, you know, I haven't decided yet. So please sit back, relax, enjoy, and I will I will walk you through it. All right, so here we are against on our first match, Dirty Steve, uh, level 23, 7,362. Let's see how well we can do against his deck. He's using sci-fi initially. So we're gonna open up with uh, Tauli, I believe. Um, we're gonna let him get close. We're gonna let him engage us. Hopefully, we'll pull out uh, Pocahontas or some other important defending card. Um, he has sci-fi, so I have to be careful that he is not going to use um, that he's not going to use Ellen Queen Red like I'm doing with him right now. So I'm gonna put preemptively. I'm gonna go ahead and put my oh shoot. Um, yeah, that is that is nice. It is right there. I, you know, he hit us right there. There's nothing I could have done. Um, so here we're hoping that he's not going to go too savage on us. But we know that he has spent a lot of energy. So now it's a time, right? Now it's a time to just keep pushing here and see what happens. I mean, the worst thing is that we end up getting completely demolished. Which, I mean, we have a very, very good chance of getting the mullage, but not if I have anything to say about it. Alright, let's, uh, I'm gonna go just hold for a second, because we're gonna be able to do this. I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and put PC Principal in. You know, so I'm gonna get the phone. You know, and this is one of the moments that Putting, putting Swashbuckler might not be a bad idea. Um, but then again, now that I realize it, I just pushed Swashbuckler right next to PC Principal. So maybe, yeah, I don't have the bestest of idea at this moment. But we're going to keep it going. We're going to keep it going here. I have the feeling I messed up a tiny, whimsy little bit. Um, so he's coming in now with the alien drone. Um... He has a doogie, right? And I know he's going to come and use that doogie um, fairly soon. So I need to make sure that I have enough energy to defend against that doogie. That I have enough energy to defend against that doogie. And I'm not going to be able to defend against him. Because now we have a freaking drone hitting our base or our new kid. Um, okay, now we have enough... And I knew he was going to do that, so 
There we go. We, we're gonna... I don't know if we're gonna get his phone or not. We didn't. But that's perfectly fine. And... Swashbuckler Red ended up paying for herself on that match. He's a dirty, dirty double dookie user. Doesn't deserve any... <laughs> doesn't deserve any... Uh, how do you call it? Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, man. I, it, words are failing me right at this moment. All right, so... He has another duty, so I, I need to be careful because I know he's going to be using it soon. You know, he wants to, he needs to use it because otherwise he's going to lose or at least draw this match. And I'm okay with a draw. I'm, I'm definitely, definitely okay with a draw. Alright, so he's probably going to come with a duty very soon because, you know, what you're seeing is, is what people tend to do, right? There's a Doogie. Let's go ahead and, and, and mind control him. And we're going to get that win. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Swashbuckler Red. That first match actually ended up. She ended up being one of the MVPs. <laughs> so perfect. Perfect example of the fun that I've been having with Swashbuckler Red. Um, she is a good equalizer, right? He was not expecting that, that, that Swashbuckler Red. And that Swashbuckler Red actually saved that first match. All right, second match. Let's see what we can do against uh, Charlie Waffle, 7,204. See if we can make um, Swashbuckler Red uh, work very good for us today. So we're going to go and do this. He does have a Swashbuckler Red, which is actually pretty amazing. Like, we both are having the same idea. So, But we have Mr. Tally on our hands, so the effect of um, of his attack will not be that profound. And what he doesn't know is that we also have our own. So we're going to keep the push here going. Um, we're going to heal out both uh, Bounty Hunter Kyle and uh, Sharon. We're going to mind control that unit. And we're going to just take away one phone from Charlie Waffles. Three. Now, we still have not used our secret weapon. He does have the secret weapon on tow. So, we have to, we have to make sure that we watch for that. His whole strategy seems to sur um, to surround using um, Mimsy and then using Swashbuckler Red. Um, good idea, but Mimsy is a little bit too expensive if, I, if you ask me. This costume rules. All right, we're going to go ahead and put our own. <laughs> we're going to put our own Swashbuckler Red in tow. We're, gonna, we're not going to let Randy pop out a baby because that's going to take some time. And we don't want to lose. Boom, mind control that. Take care of that. And blamo. Second phone will be ours. No buts, if or whens. There we go. Charlie. Um, we both had the same idea. Unfortunately, I guess my idea was a little bit better than yours. But here we go. Mr. Tally just putting the damage out. I don't. I think he is going to quit. No, he's not going to quit. He's still going to call it. So, you know, we're just going to go ahead and put just bodies in front of Mincy to delay him as much as possible. Most likely, he will come in with the Swashbuckler Red, but that's okay because we got the phone. <laughs> so that's going to be victory of match number two. Let's just keep it going. Let's see how far we can take. Like I said, the plan is to do, um, you know, three to five matches, depending on how I feel um, or how it goes. But so far, so good. Two matches, two wins. Uh, and Swash Buckler Red just being one of the MVPs. Um, that first match still fresh on my mind. The Doogie is being attracted to her, and and she being and and then us mind controlling that last Doogie for the win. So let's go ahead and start another match and see and see what happens, guys. I'll catch you when the match starts. All right, here we go. We're gonna be fighting against Sam Lee. Sam Levy. Um, see if we can again put Swashbuckler Red to great use. Um, 
starting in with the awesome. We're gonna put Tali in. We're gonna let that awesome get closed, and then we're gonna smack him to smithereens if we can. All right, let's do Robo Baby on the back. I am a supreme being. Let's do let's do Hook and Clyde. I don't think he's gonna be good. Alright. Alright, so I think this is as good as time as any. Right, all those units are gonna be pushed back, and then we can just ensure that we can do maximum damage with Christy Principal and, and our buff. Bebe, we do have a cyborg, uh, a program stand on the back. But I think we should be able to do some good here now. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Well, those freaking um, visitors are buffed to are buffed to the maximum power. So um, yeah, it didn't it didn't work too well for us. But we we took about what a quarter, one quarter. And he's gonna take about one half of our of our HP bar. We're gonna be able now to heal this up. And we are roughly equal as of right now. Um, did he quit? I hope he didn't because I mean, there's no way he should be that he should be all upset. All right. Well, I guess he decided to quit. And we'll 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 take we'll take that win. I nurture my tribe. So I'll guess I will catch you. You know, we'll I'll finish this match here, and then catch you on my very last match. I think I have proven the point. You know how I how I'm using Swashbuckler. If she's at level four, I think she's gonna be that much much better. Um, so I'll catch you when the next match starts. All right, so here we go. Doomsday Cult, 75, 78. Let's see if we can get um, our last win of the night. Um, using using our um, Swashbuckler Red. So or we do, we'll do a low-cost unit because people that start like this, they often get antsy and might end up on Holy combusting my expensive uh, unit. So I don't want that to happen. Come on, mind control that. Alright, that's perfect. Did not work as I intended. I thought that that um, Hermes Kenny was going to die. Let's go ahead and put some healing power behind us. Alright, so we're power buying it, so we're going to save... We're going to save this mind control for what's more important in life. <laughs> so, yes, come on. Perfect. All right, so we're not going to be able... Um, actually, let's go ahead and put some slapping power behind it because we have Randy and he's being... Um, the six element Randy is being slowed down by Tali. So I'm pretty sure we'll be able to win this slapping contest right now. Well, um, put Robo Baby here. Let's make a baby, a little Indian kid. And bam, we just need 53 more to get our, our hit. We're gonna go with this and we're gonna see what happens. Um, we have, the units are spread out. So he either hits Bounty or he either hits Robo Bebe. None of the two. So we're gonna. Um, should we do Swashbuckler? No, we can do Mind Control. Unfortunately, now Mind Control is not gonna work. Let's go ahead and put our Sharon. Mind Control this. All 
Alright. Like I predicted, you know, desperate things, <laughs> desperate moments call for desperate measures. Um, and another way of using it, right, is just doing this, just putting it back so that they don't attack at all. Put stuff in front so that they keep trying to follow that, just like you would do with sand, right? So he, she's just a bigger sand that you can deploy at any moment in time. And we didn't end up using Swashbuckler Red a lot, but I, I mean, I guess with what you've seen today, you get the idea of 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 how I've been using Swashbuckler Red and why I think she's really good. I'm actually looking forward to getting her to level four. If you have been using Swag Buckler Red, please let me know in the comment section how are you using it, with what deck you're using it, what themes, and what's your overall strategy. I would love to hear from you guys. And like always, guys, take care, have a good night, and Sol is checking out. Later.